All right, let's take a look at the Thermistor Demo LabVIEW project. Right now I have my thermistor connected to analog input number zero on the B connector. Now the VI is running at the moment and I'm displaying the thermistor resistance in kilo ohms on this circular dial. The digital display also works. Looks like we're running at around 9.3 kilo ohms. It's based on this primary measurement from the analog input zero and then also an auxiliary measurement of the actual supply voltage. We also need the measured value of the fixed resistor. You'll want to do that with an ohmmeter and insert that value there. All right, I'm warming the thermistor with a finger touch right now and we see that the resistance is going down. And I just let go of the thermistor and we see the resistance starting to head back up a little bit. All right, let's look at the core of the VI. It's based on the analog input express VI, measuring a couple of values, passing that through a little bit of calculation, and then displaying that back on the round gauge. Let's open up the analog input. Here's where I am using my two digital channels. If you would like, you can remove channels or you can add channels. And you then use the pull down to pick which analog input you'd like to use. I'm going to cancel and keep it the way it is right now. Sometimes you'll see the air cluster appearing at the top. You can also position it at the bottom this way. All right, the air cluster is oared together with the stop button back here on the front panel, either stopping the VI or an air will break you out of the loop, pass you through the simple air handler, and then execute a MyRio software reset. Here I'm pacing the loop at 10 milliseconds per loop cycle, and that's giving me a 100 hertz update rate on the front panel.